what is going on guys in last video we designed ui for each product item so that we can show that in the product list in this video we'll design a new page for product details view where we will show all the details of the product like title description add to favorite add to cart and also other details of the product so let's get back to the project so now this is a product item view we are showing only one image title is small we are not showing description so there are lots of things in the product so what we will do whenever we click on this item it will go to next page and it will show all the product details so that page will be product details page this is category product page here we are showing the list when we click on it it will show the detail of this single product so whenever we click on this card we'll go to that page so for that we'll create one composable i'll go to pages and let's create a composable called product product details page call it as file composable product details page now when we click on item we want to navigate it to here so for that we have to go to app navigation first let's create a navigation same way we are creating category products let's copy this paste it let's name the route as product details and we will pass product id so here key will be product id variable name also let's change to product id and the composable will be product details page so here we'll pass product id now we have to create the parameter over there let's take product id as a string so now we can navigate so let's go to product item view where we will add the clickable so in the product item view in the card modifier i will add dot clickable so it will be clickable now on click of it we will navigate to using global navigation dot nav controller dot navigate so we want to navigate to product details the name of the route should be same whatever we have mentioned over here slash will send product dot id that's it so in this page we will get the product id let's see let's test product id received is correct or not let's run it so i will click on this this one so we are receiving the id let's check over here for this tv the id is correct if you go back click on this we have different id so id is being passed correctly so here in this page with the help of id we'll get the entire product so how we can do that with the launched effect so first i'll declare a variable product by remember mutable state of product model import get set now use launched effect unit now get the value so how we'll get if you see over here we have firebase fire store data stock products here we were getting the list there we will get the single product so i'll copy this paste over here i'll remove everything from here so in the collection products we have to pass document whose id is if you see over here in the collection products we have the documents with the id so it matches the id of the product so with the help of this id we'll get the product so here product id dot get dot add on complete listener now we'll get the result if it is successful we'll convert it to the object that will be result so it will not be the list it will be the single result here it dot result dot to object so we have to convert it to the object what is the object product model so dot class dot java in this way this result we convert it to product model so it will be of type product model now we'll assign it to this product so if result is not equal to null we will assign it product equals to result that's it we'll get the product now with the id so let's see either we are getting correctly or not here i will pass text product dot to string let's rerun here you can see we are getting the whole product details go back macbook air we are getting the details here we were displaying like this now we can display the data however we want so let's remove this and let's start designing so here once we get the data what we will do we'll create column let's add modifier modifier equals to we'll take the modifier dot fill max size dot add padding around 16 dp and the details can be very long so we will make it scrollable so vertical scroll remember scroll state if we have very long content it will scroll so in this column we will add items one by one first we will show the title over here whatever the title we have macbook air m4 so for that i will use text product dot title if i run now you can see we have the title now we can design for this i will add some property font weight font weight dot bold 
let's put it in separate line you can design any way you want font size let's say 20 sp modifier equals to modifier dot uh, padding around 8 dp run it so we have the title below this we will add the image but here if you see in the product item we are only showing one image but here we will show multiple images since we have added three images four images we have added multiple images we can show them with dot indicator so if you see in the banner we are using here in the same way we will use there also so images will be displayed in horizontal and we'll have dot indicator same way so what i will do take the code from banner view so let's go to banner view here what are the required things if you come over here we need this column let's copy everything from here let's go over here let's give some spacer first modifier dot height adp and paste that column so here we don't need modifier because we have already applied in this parent column let's remove that now here we have to change so we are taking banner list here we'll take product dot where we have the images if you see over here we have in the images this is an array so in the product we have images so that will be a list so here we will give the size of product dot images here also product dot images dot get it content description let's say product images here also product dot images dot size so it will work same way if i run now you can see we have the images but the size is different it is taking the height according to the image so for that we'll modify here so for the async image i'll add the height before this around 220 dot dp let's say now height will be fixed if you go to this one you can see we have a scrollable image here it is looking good now we have added the title we have added the images now below this we will add other things same way here we have added prices and the add to cart button we will add prices and the add to favorite button so add to cart we will add a separate button big button over here so for the icon we will make add to favorite so favorite will be a list so here what we will do i will copy the code from product item view we are using row for the price actual price and the icon button i'll copy everything i'll copy this row let's paste it here now if i run you can see we have prices and the add to cart button let's increase the font sizes let's make the price 16 sp this one let's make it bigger let's, let's make it bold and for the icon button it won't be add to cart it will be add to favorite and we'll use some icon which will be favorite border later we'll make it red if it is already added for now let's add this now if i run you can see we have the prices and this favorite button and it is clickable so this is good now below this we'll add one big add to cart button so like in the login page we'll add button on click leave it like this for now text will be add to cart if you see rerun add to cart we will make it bigger so for that i will use here modifier equals to modifier dot fill max width and height around 40 dp you can make it 50 dp as well and you can change the font size of add to cart as font size or 16 will be good so above this let's add a spacer so we'll add a spacer one by one over here let's copy this spacer 8 dp below this dot indicator we'll add 8 dp and below this row also 8 dp now it is looking good now we have add to cart button also on click we'll set it later now below this what we want to show so if you see the model over here you can add anything but right now we'll show the description so let's show the description over here let's give a spacer let's show the title first let's say product description and give like this font weight font weight and dot semi bold semi bold and font size let's say 18 sp let's put it on separate line so product description let's make more spacer 16 db so product description below will show the description so here is spacer 8 db text will be product dot description font size let's say 16 sp okay you can see we have the description so it can be long also let it be we have made it scrollable so it will scroll let's write something big so let's add a big description so here what i will do i will go to description i will copy everything from here till here and in firebase products for the macbook air i'll paste it it will be long now if i go back come 
you can see it is scrollable now what we will do if you go to this iphone you can see product description we have a description but what if you want to show different properties for different things like if you go over here in the amazon here here if you see we have brand apple model name macbook air screen size 13.6 inch color hard disk size this thing we have this will be different for the different products if you go to any other product there we might not have screen size hard disk size cpu model so every product might have different keys and different values so what we will do we will just create a map so if you go to product model what we will do let's go to iphone this one this is iphone let's add one more field so here what i will do i will use field name as other details and here type will be map so that we can add key value if you go to iphone 16 pro max here you can see we have different things so what i will do i will use same thing brand apple key will be brand value will be app same thing here operating system will be ios add another field in the map cpu speed it will be this let's add one more screen size 6.9 inches so if you add you can see other details same way we have all the fields we have other details but this is a map it can have different keys different values so we don't have to worry about that we should have other details so we'll get this detail as well and show it in the ui so for that what we have to do first we have to go to product model here we have the fields we have to define another field let's call it other details it should be same and what is the type type is map what are the key and value they are a string and a string initialize it with map of empty map now we can use this if you see over here below this what we will do let's test just write product dot other details dot to string let's say let's see if we get it or not If you go over here you can see after this description we have brand apple screen size cpu and operating system so we are getting the data now we have the data we can show it any way we want so how we will show what i will do here here i will use same title below this i will use other product details semi bold same thing i'll give a spacer 8dp and here i will display it in a list so what we will do we will do product dot other details dot for each will get for each since this is a map we'll get key and value and here we can utilize so we'll make a row in that row we will add text which will be key and another text we'll add as value now if i run you can see key value key value key value let's beautify it here after this description i will add a spacer and here what we will do in the row i will add modifier modifier equals to modifier dot fill max width and let's give padding around 4 dp and in the key i will make font size at 16 sp font weight as font weight dot semi bold so after key what i will use i will use just this so you can wrap it let's make value also font size 16 sp now if i run you can see same way we have brand apple screen size this cpu speed operating system we can add as many maps so it doesn't affect whatever the key is we don't have to add in the model we just added other details which contains the map which has key and value so it is independent with any product so for the for this zoo let me add other details here i can use map size i can use size six use color let's say black addition let's say 2025 add it go back go to fashion so you can see over here size color addition let's add the spacer between this description and this around 16 dp so here let's make it 16 dp that we will have gap now it's good in this way you can add so if i go anywhere where we don't have any map let's say here we don't have map so if you want to show it you can show it or if you want to hide it if there is no data what we can do over here in the product details title we will use if product dot other details dot is not empty then we can show the text if i run now for this item it won't be visible because there are no any map if we go to iphone we have the map it will show the data in this way it will work if you want to add any other property that is general to all the product you can add it as a field or if it is specific to the product you can add in other details
in this way so that's all for this video in next video we will implement add to cart so whenever we click on this add to cart or whenever we click on this add to cart the product should be added to our cart and we'll show all the items of that cart over here in the cart screen so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye